Hey guys, so this is a look at generative design as a tool to generate this uh, pattern type of uh, curtain wall distributions. Um, on the screen, you have the results of a generative design study that yields uh, all different types of curtain wall subdivisions. Uh, I can just generate them directly from generative design into Revit. All right, and here is the result of that subdivision. This is a true curtain wall, and um, it um, just uh, inherited the uh, panel subdivisions generated in generative design. So let me quickly show you how this works and how you can start making something like this on your end. Uh, for this script uh, to work, um, you'll have you need to have a curtain wall definition that has no vertical and grid subdivisions but they only have uh, mullion uh, definitions for interior and border types um, the other part of this it's uh, the dynamo script i am using revit uh, 2021 and dynamo 2.6 and you're going to need also the rhythm package uh, from John Pearson in order to uh, work with the uh, subdivisions of the curtain wall grids. Uh, and let me very quickly uh, show you how this works. Um, I'm not going to go through all the details on how the script is put together, but I'm going to put a link in the description that you can download it. Um, uh, in a nutshell, uh, what this is doing is picking uh, the curtain wall uh, panel and subdivided in pattern modules that are also subdivided uh, using uh, random rules. So uh, one of the first steps is to select how many modules do I need. And um, you can do this by typing or using this slider and you can see how in an automatic mode the pattern reacts to a uh, maximum number of pattern repetitions and this goes uh, from two to eight and then uh, i need to define how many subdivision i need for every of the pattern modules uh, this is controlled by this slider and uh, you can go from I think I put it uh, two to six subdivisions. You can increase it. Obviously, there's going to be a toll on the processing time. And um, these random seeds controls how uh, what is the spacing, both in the vertical and the horizontal for each of the panels. And this is controlled using a random list of numbers um, from a minimum and a maximum identified in the script. Um, and uh, to facilitate arriving to a solution that you like or that we like, uh, we can use generative design. So once you open this file and you have the appropriate package of rhythm, uh, you can export this to a generative design study. If everything's correct, you're going to get a green check mark and hit export. This is going to create uh, Definition that can be run within Revit. Close Dynamo. And then hit this uh, tool called Generate Study. The definition associated with the study will be listed in this study type panels. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use a randomized method to generate uh, near 100 uh, solutions and then you hit uh, generate this is going to take a couple of minutes to generate um, so as the solutions are getting processed you're going to start seeing the results in this preview panel um, this has remarkably improved in the last versions of generative design. It used to take a longer time to process this, but as you can see here, uh, this number of 
uh, solutions are processed at a really fast speed lately. And then I can use this multivariable uh, column display uh, to narrow down the solutions and arrive to something that is close to my aesthetics uh, likes. Um, 72 items created. Uh, we're getting at the end of the processing time. And um, I believe here we are. Now that I have all the solutions here, I can narrow down uh, to a specific parameter values. And I can say here I want to narrow it to a maximum number of four to three uh, pattern repetitions and um, maybe um, vertical module subdivisions between three and four. And um, if any of these is of your interest, uh, you can generate in Revit. Uh, you can also choose uh, other outputs like the maximum area allowable for each of the panels. Uh, I'm going to switch to that now um, and pick between two and four subdivisions and uh, navigate through the preview panel uh, to a solution that you like. So I think I like this guy and I'm just going to hit uh, create Revit element and again this is a it's going to take a, like a minute to generate All right, this finished processing, and you can see how now in the background I got that solution for that particular uh, molding distribution. So, hope you like it.